Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome to the Italian Republic After Action Report. I just did a quick annexation of the Union of Britain and they're now my puppet, just uh, just so I can end the war and take a look at these borders that I could potentially have created for myself. So yeah, this basically is Mira Nostrum right here. Uh, <laughs> Although uh, France was returned home because they joined the Reich Pact. Uh, so anyway, for those of you who have never seen one before, I usually at the end of a series like to do an after action report where I talk about the things that I feel I did right, the things that I feel I did wrong, and uh, ask you guys in the comments to uh, also give some input on what you think I did right and wrong. So let's talk about the things that I think I did right. Well, uh, as many of you know, I went down the Republic surviving. I didn't do the national populace uh, taking control, even though everybody was screaming for me to do it in the comments, even though uh, I record these ahead of time. So but there's no point in backseat gaming. But uh, so because I did that, I never had the Civil War, and I also never had the opportunity to go to war with Austria really early, which from what I've seen online seems to be a pretty popular thing to do, just start an early war with Austria and somehow manage to game your way over to Vienna, and uh, then you can take the whole Danubian Federation or Hungary and take, take all their puppets, basically, and then you have a ton of factories, and then it becomes easy-peasy for you to uh, get the rest of Italy. I instead opted to just stick with my three starting provinces here, Lombardia, Veneto, and Friuli. Uh, so I had to, I think I made the right call going with, I'm trying to go to my research over here. I feel that the right call definitely was, uh, a better call I mean, would have been Grand Battle Plan, but superior firepower did work out for me pretty well. I was a little bit low on manpower at times, uh, but, I think uh, definitely building the forts instead of more factories was another good call on my part. Uh, I got some of these up to level 6 by the end of things. Uh, so between the forts and the river, it uh, I was just inflicting horrific casualties on the 3rd International. Uh, I did get lucky that first time with Germany. Well, actually, I wouldn't consider it lucky. Uh, as you know, the first time that I went to war with the Socialist Republic, Germany ended up... Uh, forcing France to stop the war. So Germany pressured France, who pressured the Socialist Republic of Italy in that end of the war, but that actually was bad for me because even though I got a bunch of political power from it, as, as you, those of you who saw the series know, it took... It, I ended up having a lot of political power that I wasn't using for anything. So I would have much preferred to knock out that war in, what was it, 1938 when the war began? Uh, and at that point, I had the backing of Austria, so really, Germany uh, made it harder in some ways because then when the second war happens, I was all by myself until France and Germany ended up going to war later. So I would have much, I could have, I could have united Italy much quicker. Uh, so, you know, I ended up having to spend a ton of time down here on my continuous focuses uh, and because I, I couldn't take any of the Italy United or new industry programs or anything like that because I was just standing around. Speaking of which, I feel that these trees are perhaps a little bit underwhelming. Uh, they're, st I, they're good. I, underwhelming is the, the wrong word. They were, it's a good tree. I feel there could have maybe been a little bit more to do and I also felt like some of these didn't actually do anything. Uh, or they should be more clear with what they do. So, for example, the new defense contracts, it adds all this stuff, but you don't know that until after you've taken it, uh, which I don't like. I don't like being denied that much information. Uh, let's see. So the question then is, would I play... Uh, oh, yeah, let's talk about the things I did wrong. So I, I probably should have been a little bit more aware of... Uh, I should have been micromanaging better, particularly here on the Swiss border where they were kind of moving in and out of a couple of tiles here. That definitely could have been done better. Um, I suppose I didn't really have to go after Sardinia, especially since the American Union state ended up taking it anyway, but that's okay. They got theirs. Uh, so uh, that, that could have been done better. Uh, especially since I basically sacrificed my whole navy in order to just get that brief amount of time where I got across. And, and really, that was lucky. Uh, I think it was just poor management on the part of the United Kingdom and France and how they were using their navy. Also, the Entente's navy that I was luckily able to uh, keep control of the sea long enough to shuttle my marines over. But it definitely was not necessary, and I could have used those divisions uh, more efficiently on an actual front line. Um, 
I don't like in this focus tree how for a lot of this stuff you have to be at peace before you can keep going. So you can't be at war with Sardinia and Naples. Uh, I don't like that. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to stack them up. Maybe it's so the AI doesn't do that and get killed. I don't know why, but I didn't like that. Uh, besides that, it was kind of a long campaign. It was a different type of campaign. It's not like, say, my Russian ones where I'm, I'm working on these big fronts and I have this huge industry. I really had to very much micromanage down here in the Po Valley uh, with what uh, was, I think I think many would say is probably the weakest of the Italian states at the beginning. It's the one with, in the most difficult position. And uh, as you can see, things turned out very successful for me. And, and I just got to this point where I was blobbing, so... I wanted to stop. There was nothing to do but blob anymore. Uh, and I didn't want to actually show the Union of Britain because I want to move on to some other things. Uh, I just have I've had enough of the campaign. It was fun, but it's time to move on. So uh, what's going to be my next Kaiserite campaign? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have another one up or not because I'm trying to get more games into the rotation. There's three in particular. I want to get done by you know, have up on the channel at least one episode of by June, and uh, I wonder if I should say what they are. No, I shouldn't. I'm not going to say what they are, just in case they're not up yet, but two of them are Paradox games, and the third one is not. Uh, so, of course, I want to get those up, and then I'll decide what my next Kaiserite campaign is going to be. Uh, it might actually be Ireland, possibly. Uh... I know that I did a multiplayer as Ireland, but I was thinking about maybe trying the syndicalist path since nobody ever does, and just having fun, see what I could do as a solo act, and, and just talk about Irish history. I want to talk about Irish history, or maybe I could just do that in another game where I play Ireland. Uh, so that's something Ireland's maybe, the Arabias are maybe, Iran's a maybe. I want to, if I, unless I can find something that uh, is a fun national populist route. Maybe Japan. Japan's mostly done. Maybe do that. I'm not sure, but I want to knock out a National Populist run since I don't have any that are... I used to have National Populist ones on the channel, but they got lost. Um, I've talked about how that happened before. Um, also, it's not going to be Sudwest Africa. I've been messing around with it, and the fact that you have to make yourself a puppet and it just completely cripples you as far as uh, getting freedom to do what you want, it uh, it's really annoying. So one day, one day I want to do this, start as them and take over the rest. I actually started to record this, but it didn't work out. It's just uh, it's just too annoying being, uh, being underneath the German Empire. So... Goodness, what else was I going to say? That, yeah, that's it. I think I've talked enough. Uh, so let me know in the comments things you think I could have done better or worse, or maybe something you want to see me play, a country in Kaiserreich you want to see me play. But worst case scenario, there might not be another one getting uploaded on the channel until uh, June. That's not counting uh, guides and stuff. All right, so you all have yourselves a great day. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hey, Support me on Patreon if you want. Go go to the channel and check out other playlists, see if there's something else you want to watch. Bye.